Good morning guys. Look at this. Look. Sun. Sunshine. Now strictly speaking I didn't really have to go anywhere today but uh, I'm not giving this a miss. So uh, here we are. Just local but uh, out and about. Just see what's happening. Hope you're all doing well and getting some of this weather because this is awesome. After days of what just feels like rain and if at the very best just cloud. Am I being loud? I sound like I'm being loud. If I am, sorry. I'll uh, turn it down a little bit. But yeah, I'm excited. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll just, uh, I don't know, Camborne Red Ruth. Maybe a little bit of Patrice. Maybe we'll Camborne, Redruth, and then Patrice to end. We'll end at the uh, seaside. Oof. We'll uh, just pop up, go through town. Just this second, jet wash the car, so she's nice and shiny. And for those of you that are not familiar with that vernacular, she on a vehicle, in our family, we've always, and it's not just our family, it's other families use it as well. Cars are she's. Unless they're particularly macho, like my last BMW, that, that was definitely a he. All ships are she's. Aircraft are she's. I don't know, it's just weird. I'm glad they filled that pothole in. Not very well, but at least they filled it in. It was like the Grand Canyon. Yeah, I come out this morning, my car was absolutely covered. It's like it's been parked next to a volcano. Um, it's just, of course, it's just road grime, you know. You know what it's like if you park out on the road. That's what happens, you get road grime. I don't know, town's looking a little bit busy. Maybe... I don't know, once we're in, we can always turn off by the old bank. The old bank. Just about hear that radio, so just in case uh, YouTube could hear it. So turn that right down. Sorry for any throat clearing you might hear today, but it's uh, getting close to the start of summer. Well, basically we are in the start of summer, so allergy, allergy time for me. Yay! The old council boys out. Maybe they go off, fill a few potholes, eh? You never know. Stranger things have happened. I don't 
don't know why she's looking to the right. It's only one way. <laughs> this traffic's coming to you from the left. What are you doing? That's one thing I want to ask. I just saw, I'll probably lose half my subscribers now, but a lot of you are obviously a younger generation, a lot younger than me, and do the, do the hoodie thing. With all respect, what's that about? Because I'll see people wearing hoodies with the hood up in the midst of summer when it's 80, 90 degrees. Could you tell me what that's about? Is it like, is it the same as the jean thing around, hanging around the bottom of your bum? You know when the waistline is down around the bottom of your bum, your backside? Is that what's that, is that that same kind of fashion thing? I don't get it. Right, uh, to save queuing at the lights, I think we'll go this way. A lot of people out in the sports cars, enjoying the sun. And lights change, please. Now. Later on, I've got some homemade fish and chips, which I said quietly because the person next door to me had their window open. I don't want to be broadcasting it. Later on, I got fish and chips, do you know? What are you having? But yeah, homemade fish and chips. Nice. Last couple of nights I've been having homemade curry. Oh, stunning. All right, let's pop off to Red Ruth and uh, have a gander out there. I think today is the only day we're having this. I think tomorrow's rain. Uh, that's going to continue over the weekend as rain. I could have gone away from the area, but the trouble is I've looked at my last videos and I've recently been to St Ives. I've recently been down to Penzance. I go to Penzance all the time every Monday, but um, I don't always film it. Um, I've been re fairly recently, within the last month, been to Falmouth. Uh, yeah, I haven't been to Helston in a while. Um, I've got to start going to some new places soon. It's just today, this was kind of, I didn't see this coming because I wasn't keeping an eye on the weather, the weather reports. And uh, I look, you know, woke up this morning, saw this cracking through the curtains, and thought, right, video day today. Wasn't sure where I was going to go, so I thought I'm just going to keep it local. But this is going to bring somebody some joy, you know, if you're up country or somewhere in the world, sat under a rain cloud, you can have a look at this and see a bit of sun. All right, at the moment where we are on this uh, unglamorous industrial estate isn't very uh, naturey or anything, but it's we'll go to Red Ruth in a minute and you'll see a bit of history there, some old buildings and stuff. Very old aqueduct, viaduct, aqueduct, or viaduct. A 
want to say something really thick here. I'm going to really drop myself in it. People soon, if they haven't already, will start getting onto planes at the beginning of summer and go abroad where it's hot. And have a holiday. Why don't you stay in Britain, enjoy the hot weather, and then when it starts getting colder, go abroad to where it's warmer, have a holiday. I don't know, it's probably got something to do with time off work or something like that, I don't know. He was thinking about it. Not the first person that I've just suddenly had pull out in front of me. Yay, I have a clean car just like everyone else. this morning. Oh, there we go, pull over on the side of the road where it's not dangerous at all. And um, there was Putin again, sabre rattling with the nuclear threats. I don't think anybody believes him anymore. nukes are probably malfunctioning by now. He can't even afford to keep his country running. And to any Russians that are listening, just in case, you know, I don't have a problem with Russians. Not at all. The only thing i got a problem with is the Kremlin. Kremlin? Kremlin. Why do I say it like Kremlin? Shut up, Craig. <clears throat> Massive potholes. Lost. That's what happens when you follow the sat nav. videoing right now I pop into uh, Reed's body repair right just back there got a little bit of problem with the uh, lacquer on the rear of my car just in patches I want to get that repaired I'll up it out there at some point um, oh, big drain there find that Lovely. Busy traffic along here. Luckily, we're not coming back this way. After Red Ruth, we're going to head down Patrice. <clears throat> There's a BMW behind me with full beam on, middle of the day. I'm sure on the hill up here they'll show me how big their uh, todger is. In fact, I wouldn't mind if they overtook because that full beam is quite blinding because they're the new, like, 
don't know what they call them, laser lights or something. They are uh, quite blinding, even in the middle of the day. And now my nose is beginning to run. Oh, if only that license plate had an M in front of the E. That would be so cool. our way into uh, Redruth via Mount Ambrose. We're going to sneak, sneak up on Redruth. Our BMW friend behind is on their way up to Truro. Looked on my uh, my stats, my analytics, and I've passed 50,000 views. So even if you're a subscriber or you're not, it'd be lovely if you were. But even if you're not, thank you guys. Thank you all of you. Uh, I just couldn't have got there without you. And saying that is a bit silly because without any of you, I wouldn't have got anywhere. I wouldn't. There wouldn't be a channel. Yes, they're off to Truro. Eclipse Cross. I could have made a joke then, but that would have been quite awful. Is it like one of those? Cross cars, isn't it? Oh, hello, would you come and take me for a ride? Oh, you! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I make myself laugh. Oh, silly boy. That's army. Truro bus station. That is going to take a good couple of hours to get to Truro. And I should have seen that massive crater before I fell in it. That's a new one. be a nice break for them at four lanes so they haven't actually got their head in the clouds for once. 
the four lanes being that big tall mast that we see ahead of us on the hill. I don't know what it is, I think it's some kind of broadcast tower. That's obvious. Radio or television, I don't know, it might even be military. If someone knows, could you let me know what that tower does, what it broadcasts, or even receives? I had a friend that worked for Sweb, and he used to, that's the old Southwest Electricity Board, and he used to work on that tower, he used to go up there, and uh, he said the thing sways at least 1.2 to 1.3 metres in wind, in reasonable wind. Sod that! God! No way! <clears throat> Here we go. Someone that's clearly lost because they're braking for no apparent reason. Clearly lost. Okay, they're just gonna just to make things that a little bit more awkward for the truck driver. <laughs> God. God, visibility is awesome today. Here, quick down to Patrice, quick down to Patrice, quick trip down to Patrice. God, that dog looked like a massive cat then for some reason. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, I'm not on anything. You're looking at me like I'm a bus, and I'm not. Go on, change green, change green, change green. That'd be nice. Literally right. <clears throat> now the trouble with these lights is sometimes people on the road down there they run they run a red light or they'll go through an orange and then they'll back up onto the yellow cross hatchings there where you're not meant to be really so if that that happens I might have to take a left and go around the back of Red Ruth. <sighs> Luckily that didn't happen. cleverest thing to do really, should really reverse and drive out, but there you go. Ah, the old army careers. I went in there to do my exam. And I passed. And I could have been, um, what was it? A gunner. Or 
for a truck driver, which would have entailed driving something called a commander truck, a heavily armoured truck, delivering tanks to the battlefield. So basically one big target. The enemy doesn't want those tanks being delivered to the battlefield, so you know, one big target. <clears throat> well, unfortunately, my mum fell ill and I had to care for her. And that was that. That was my uh, vision of becoming Rambo down the down the pan. You don't know, man. You weren't there. <laughs> I glared that in that <laughs> that car. I'm going down here. <laughs> right, off to Patrice. But yeah, it was at, it was at the time uh, Desert Storm, so I'd have gone in for the training, and if I passed that, then I'd probably have been shipped out straight away. limit along here, I don't know, it just seems a little, 10 miles an hour too slow, 40 would be good along here, and smoother would be nicer. somebody up behind me that really isn't currently aware of the speed limit. Now we can speed up to 40, heady speed of 40, but I do know that occasionally, every now and then, there's a, a man in a bright yellow jacket with a big bushy beard who likes to stand there with a speed gun. And fair enough, he's, you know, that's his job, he's doing a job. It's just a... Uh, I want to stick to the speed limit, and I don't want to get a ticket. Sorry, that's ticket. Or, you know, done, as we say in Britain, done for speeding. Amazingly, down here, right, the roads are a little bit smoother. You're new here, welcome. I hope you're enjoying this video. Um, normally, we go a little bit further afield than this, but the sun has caught me unaware. Well, caught me by surprise, not unaware. I am aware of it. My pit. Um, so, yeah, I just dashed out, start filming in and around the area. I uh, hope you're enjoying it, and if you're not subscribed, maybe give the button a little tickle. You know, it is free. lady as well. You'd think they'd know better, you know. Oh, she's turned in. There's a load of shops there. She probably got in to get her a woolly jumper. I don't know why I said woolly jumper, but... Mm, some 
nice houses going up there. They're doing an impression of a car alarm. Did you hear that? Oh, itchy leg. the nice houses down here this guy he always parks there by the hat I'm sure he's got a garage It's amazing how so many people actually don't notice the speed the speed signs. You know, there, 30 miles an hour. Look, I've got someone up my bum, a lady. Sorry, I'm not singling you ladies out, but that's two now I've had up my uh, backside trying to push. Um, you know, you're gonna get done if you get caught on speed camera. You're gonna get a hundred pound fine. Three penalty points on your license. Do you want that? Just to get somewhere a couple seconds earlier than what you would have done if you stuck to the speed limit? Speed bump had potholes on it. Yeah, remember I was saying the roads down here are slightly better. I was I was wrong. Trees by and large empty at the moment, they might all be on the beach. That's the people that are down here on a break, but uh, most people are going to be at work. It's not a smart place to park. <coughs> Big trench there, avoid that. Look at this, look, somebody's parked right on the corner of a turn. Ah, sand! <laughs> Do a little wheel spin. I'm such a child. That was Patrice. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed it. It was just kind of off the cuff video um, for you guys. I wanted to get another video out this week. I wasn't sure if I could, but again, this happened. Give him plenty of room. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care as always. Like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, I'll see you again, guys. Take care. It's a wacky world. It's getting wackier by the moment. But take care, and I'll see you again. Cheers, guys.